Hey everyone, Ken here from Northern Viking Everyday. Today we're going to be giving you a tour of this Corsair 4000D Airflow Mid Tower PC case in black. We'll show you the components on it. We'll show you what you get in the box. If you are interested in this case or more information on it, as well as all the components I'm using in my current build, they are all linked below in the description. But let's go ahead and dive right into this Corsair 4000D. So again, this is the Corsair 4000D Airflow Mini Tower PC case in black. Now in the box, of course, you do get the instruction manual and it's got all these specifications there. I'll pop those up at the end of the video so you can pause it and have a closer look at those if you like. Now as well in the box, of course, you'll get some kind of Velcro cable ties with the Corsair logo on them and your pack of screws, all your standoffs, different things like that. There are some zap straps in there as well for tying down all your cables. So that's all included in the box. Now the top of the case here, the main IO here, you've got your power connector right here. You've got a USB 3.0 connector and a USB 3.1 type C, as well as a combo audio and headphone jack. And there's a little reset button right here as well. And you've also got your dust filter up here that is removable. It's got a nice little yellow tab on it. That comes off like that. It's magnetic and it just goes on there. Really nice kind of yellow accents here on this PC case. Coming down the front of the case here, really nice design on it. All these tiny little triangles. This is all metal here. There is a fan behind there. We'll show you that in a moment. Nice little Corsair logo here at the bottom. On the bottom of the case, there's rubberized feed on all four corners right here. And there is a dust filter for your power supply that removes out the back like that. On the back here, you've got your 120 millimeter fan. We'll have a look at that from the other side in a moment. You've got your IO cut out here and you've got your PCIe covers here that are removable and you can have a vertical GPU here as well and of course your power supply will come out the back there and there's that dust screen I showed you. Now to remove these side covers there's thumb screws like this you just remove them on the top and the bottom and then you pull the panel out like this and it just pops off like that. So back here behind the cover, we've got our little window to the back of our motherboard so you can easily change out your CPU cooler if you want. All your cables are coming down here from the top IO right down here. They've got these really nice Velcro straps like that holding everything in place with the Corsair logo on there and all your cables here for USB and USB-C audio, everything. It's just tucked in underneath here. Now, if you've got some regular SSDs, two and a half inch SSDs, there's two holders right here for you. They've got little thumb screws on them, really easy to mount on there. So that's really handy. And if you've got three and a half inch hard drives, there's two bays down here below. If you're not gonna use this, there's actually little thumb screws down here that you can remove the whole bay right out of here. So that's really handy. You can remove that, have a lot more space for all your cables underneath there. So let's go ahead and remove the tempered glass panel here. Again, two thumb screws that you remove. Really nice tempered panel here. You need to pop it out at the back and then remove it like that. So before we get on the inside there, I did wanna show you this front cover is fully removable as well. And you can see there's a dust screen in there that you can easily clean out as well. So inside the case here, you can see where your motherboard goes or standoffs here. And this is compatible with extended ATX, ATX, micro ATX and mini ATX. It does come with two fans. So 120 millimeter fan here on the back with a three pin connector there. And then on the front, we've got another 120 millimeter fan here with a three pin connector on it as well right here at the front. And it does say that this fits a 360 millimeter radiator here on the front. And actually up on the top, it says 280 millimeters on the roof, depending on the RAM height. So keep that in mind if you're buying a radiator there. Really nice case on the inside. Now down here at the bottom, you can see it's vented for your power supply here at the bottom. There's no window, so you can't see the side of your power supply right there. The other thing I wanted to point out is this really nice cover here that covers all your wires going to the back there. That'll keep it looking really clean here. It does say coarse air right here as well, really small and 4000D down here at the bottom. Again, I did wanna mention that that cover, the glass cover is tempered glass and the whole unit does weigh 17.31 pounds. 
So I'll pop up those case specifications and sizes right now. Just pause it if you do want to have a closer look. This is a really nice case. I'm really impressed with it. Nice and sleek, well built. And again, this is the Corsair 4000D Airflow Mid Tower PC case in black. So hope this quick tour of the Corsair 4000D Airflow PC case gave you value. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. And YouTube thinks you should watch this video right here next. So why don't you check that one out? Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.